Banning Islam. Hmm. Fascinating. CISPA is dead for now. Again, according to U.S. News, the controversial cybersecurity bill known as the Cyber Information Sharing and Protection Act, which we talked about last week, which could allow employers to ask potential employees or active employees for their Facebook passwords, is basically set to be shelved by the Senate. The bill would have allowed the federal government to share classified so-called cyber threat information with companies, and it also had a whole bunch of other provisions that would allow companies to share information about specific users with the government. And privacy advocates also were really worried about the NSA, the National Security Administration, getting involved, and, and uh, there were a number of different concerns. And a committee representative says, we're not taking CISPA up. Staff and senators are divvying up the issues and the key provisions everyone agrees would need to be handled. If we're going to strength, strengthen cybersecurity, they'll be drafting separate bills. So this is good. Although individually, it looks like a lot of the things that would have fallen under the umbrella of CISPA are going to be included individually in different bills. But I want to bring up a different issue here, which is that, remember, many of the Patriot Act provisions that were put in place by George W. Bush and extended by President Barack Obama can be used and interpreted to provide similar types of access to what is feared would happen under CISPA. Let me give you an example. Look specifically, you can look this up at Title II, okay, Title II of the Patriot Act called Enhanced Surveillance Procedures. And if we look at a lot of these things, they, they are, they are similar. There's no way to, to argue that they're not similar and provide similar latitude. 201. The authority to intercept wire, oral, and electronic communications relating to terrorism. 202, uh, those same things relating to computer fraud and abuse offenses. 203B, authority to share electronic wire and oral interception information. 204, clarification of intelligence exceptions from limitations on interception and disclosure of wire, oral, and electronic communications. 209, seizure of voicemail messages pursuant to warrants. This goes on and on and on. Right. So I think it's good that CISPA has been shelved for now. I think it's important to look at actual protection from cyber terrorism. But remember, Title II of the Patriot Act contains very, very similar provisions. Yeah, you got it. And I think we're going to see, like you said, pieces of this here and there. And, of course, completely different bills altogether right. as time goes on. I mean, I think we're not going to see anything that's really intelligent and protects us and creative until we see like a younger generation in office who isn't as disconnected from the technology as the people Absolutely. we have now. And understands yeah. how the internet is actually used. Right.